Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let me talk to you guys about this new, well not new, but new to me I guess, a 2.5% um, a sodium fluoride varnish that I love. Why do I love it so much? Because it's not sticky and patients like it. When I used to work in a dental office, I would always talk about the fluoride varnish. I would say I will be applying this to your teeth afterwards to protect the teeth, seal everything up, whatever I'm doing it. But they would say, oh, is that that sticky stuff? I don't like that, it hurts my stomach. Oh, is that that stuff that tastes funny? I don't, I don't like that. This is not sticky. It comes in mint, bubble gum, or caramel. This one's caramel, it's actually pretty good. But it's not sticky, it tastes better, and it doesn't leave that film on the teeth. Even if it's not sticky, after you have like a fluoride varnish, you can kind of tell it's there. This stuff is amazing and you can eat or drink right away. You don't have to tell the patient, wait a half an hour because nobody likes that. Telling a kid that they have to wait a half an hour to eat something doesn't seem like a big deal, but kids go crazy. They don't want to wait half an hour. Um, adults, children can eat or drink right away afterwards, but how do you apply it? So you wanna use a thicker brush. So you don't want to use the purple one. You see how that's really, really thin? Don't use the purple one. Use a thicker one. One drop is all you need, maybe two, depending on the mouth. Obviously put it into a daffin dish because it is still sticky in the daffin dish. Put it on, probably bend the brush. But how you put this on is you put it on the bottom first and then the top, not on the teeth, but where the teeth and gum meet. So you put it on there, just one like swoop, one swoop here, that's it. Tell the patient to suck in and then suck out, that's it. And then they can spit into the sink afterwards. Done, it takes like half a second. I don't use the suction to help them with their saliva because it might clog it up. So I do have them spit into the sink afterwards, but they can eat or drink right away. So when I first started using this, I had used it how I would all of the other varnishes that I've ever used. So I would put it over the, the teeth everywhere. It, there was too much. Like you can tell you are using too much if you get those like white pieces in there and then the patient's kind of like, what is that? You know, that's how you know it's too much, okay? You have to apply it differently than that. So how I said before, just one sort of sweep on the on the bottom, one on the top. For some reason, they say to do the bottom and then the top. I forget why, I'll have to check the video. Um, check out the video that they have on oralscience.com. But you do the bottom, the top, have, um, top, have the patient suck in, suck out, and then they can spit, done. Best stuff ever, patients will, will actually use it. You are protecting their teeth. It does last six months, apparently, so why not? Thank you guys so much for listening. I will talk to you guys soon and I'll see you in the next one.